Zaidi boy here. I was telling these pre pretty little dairy queens that they should put their damn back into it. They don't know what the goddamn time is, I'm sure. A rational Muslim, lim, lim, slim, slim. I'm Slim Zaidi. Oh, I am the real Zaidi. So now this dot over here. Doo, 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 doo. This dot. Okay, and this pen. This pen is amazing. Guys, you go to Dollarama Jumbo, this thing. It just bleeds the ink. So watch this, guys. All right, it didn't work on the goddamn tree, guys. Doo, 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 doo. You're back, my little princess. Oh, God. Ah! So this is Millikin Park, my dear watcher. And as you can see... Hey, somebody quiet that goddamn kid, hey! As you can see, peace and quiet... They, she's not even what hey did you come out here to play badminton all right young dairy queen look at these people you guys don't even care about this goddamn game of badminton guys Millikan Park is where you want to be I got to go because I have to go over the hill. It's beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful. I don't know what to tell you. So I make these videos, right? It's so fucking gorgeous, right? It's so nice. Like these shades, $2.99. Oakley's, real Oakley's. For hey, hey. So from Value Village, do, do, do. So that's what I do. I, I live like a goddamn nomad, man. And uh, life is good. So just over the hill there. Doo, doo, doo. Ew, ew. <laughs> you guys are the suckiest badminton players in the history of badminton. I say next time leave the racket ball at home there, princess queen. Hey! <laughs> You're not very good at badminton, I say. I know I take, the I take the thing too far, right? But it's too easy. Like, I wanted to just have, get, get some last rays of the sun. I got to go over the hill. Hey, come on. Why is the kid crying? Young man. Young man. Hey. Come on. What's the matter with you? Hey. So it's nice to be recording all this stuff, right? Because it's Looney Tunes. It took me years. I don't know if I have a handle on the situation, guys, right? I keep finding weed. Like, I'm sorry. Like, my wife watches this. She gets very worried. My family's worried. I met the guy again today. I met this guy called Tom, and I gave him a pair of glasses from Dollarama. Dollar fucking drama. This kind of bullshit. Not this bag. Guys... A dollar twenty-five for these goddamn glasses, man. <laughs> That's something I learned in jail, right? You laugh like that, and then you go, "Nigga, please!" and you shout, "Please!" and it echoes. And guys, like. I learned all this stuff in jail and on the street, right? And it's taken me years to get to a point where I can just chill out. Like, what I do, I say, like, okay, so here's, like, I deal with the problem in, in a creative way. So, with mania, bipolar mania, what you need is to get out. Like, I keep saying this thing. My friend Joe Morganti was like, yo, this is exactly what I needed to hear. Thank you, Joe, for watching that. Guys, like you come outside, there's no offices, there's no cubicles, there's no pens or pencils or supply chain or your boss. Guys, like, 
you feel the Quran says the same thing that we're the ones who made nature like beauty for the beholder this kind of thing like it gladdens you so this is one thing and then it's like you have to get out and find yourself by finding solitude getting away from people you need to get away the fuck from people you need to get the fuck away from people okay so this is harsh it just means you need some peace and quiet once in a while coming out to the wide open so i appreciate a guy who doesn't walk on the path like this commando with the camouflage this is great because he gets it he's getting more exercise walking on the grass and then it's away from people and it's more interesting you see squirrels and rabbits and all this kind of bullshit so I'm gonna go, this is Millican Park again. And I guess the kid finally did shut up. So guys, talk to your mom every day. Okay, talk to your wife every day, guys. There's this thing where they say, don't go to bed angry. The real thing is what my wife taught me. Don't talk to each other when you're angry. Okay, don't shout or raise your voice at someone is what her niece said, but this got sucked into don't engage with your spouse or partner when you are angry, assholes. Do, 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 do.